stitches and sundries. This is floss tube number 24, I think. Maybe. Check. I didn't bring my book. I am so <laughs> unorganized. We are a unorganized cross-stitching podcast. Uh, we talk about cross-stitch and embroidery and sometimes whatever else we feel like. Life, Life updates. updates. Yeah. Uh, and uh, Halloween. Always in this house. <laughs> uh, I'm Lauren. I'm Devin. You can find me at Lauren Up Stitching on Instagram. You can find me as Devin underscore Note Loose Sentence on Instagram. Yeah. Did it. That's where I'm Intro at. over. Oh. 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 <sighs> it's difficult. Anyway. Intros. Intros. Get past them. We have a lot of Move exciting on. stuff to talk about today. Oh my gosh. Too much has been happening in our lives. I've been busy. You've been. You specifically have been very busy. So yeah. what have you been up to? How far do we want to go? I will just do a brief cover story here. So yeah, let's just keep it. My dad keep had cataract it. eye surgery and um, I'm working a fair booth this week. I'm doing volunteer no um, in our county fair. Yes. Um, and I'm shopping for houses. And so I'm trying to juggle all of those things this week. Craziness. Yeah. Only you could manage that level of chaos. I would be, I would just be telling people to wait on me. I <laughs> like, wait. Well, I did have to cancel you on Sunday. We were recording on a oh, Wednesday. Oh, that's right. We're recording so, late, yeah. um, We are recording on a Wednesday now because I had to schedule house viewing on Sunday. It was the only time no. it worked. And then, I don't know. It's just been chaotic. It's Life's just tree. <laughs> Nothing you can do about it except yeah. roll, hold on to that roller coaster. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I am having fun at the fair. I've gotten some good it's fair good. food. I had uh, deep fried Oreos yesterday. Oh. And a corn dog that was like this freaking long. It was $8. Mm -hmm. And I was like mad that it was $8. But <laughs> it was a big corn dog. <laughs> I agree with you. $8 seems really excessive. It was. Excessive. I need you to make just a, a fair foods delivery to me. Like, <laughs> just deliver me the rotary fries. Mm. Which is what I want. They're delicious. I had those once so far. So not good stuff. They're good. Um, not much has been going on with me. Still, uh, today was the first time I have found time at work to stitch. What? I've been trying, like I knew there was time, but, uh, when you first start a job and they're like, you have a half an hour lunch. I'm like, not taking my lunch at any good time. And I'm like rushing and I'm trying to get as much done as I can, but I'm finally getting new groove. And so today I get half hour lunch and two 10 minute breaks. And so I just jammed it all together into a 50 minute lunch and had a nice time to stitch today and it was like very like is, take my mind give it a little break that was is that nice. something you think you can do uh i can do it sometimes probably not super regularly there's not a good spot like everywhere our break room is you said it was messy yeah well, so we have two break rooms one is very messy everybody uses it it's very messy it's foods everywhere like you just not a good place to stitch it's a good place to eat and talk and see everybody but it's not a good place to get your anything out that you want to be kept nice the other one is a very nice like out of the way little kitchen and but it is smack in the middle of a conference room that is used ah. like it is used all the time so you go in to like heat up your lunch and there's just people in there orientating new hires and you're like i'm gonna run the microwave in the middle of your presentation that's weird yeah so that's odd but if the if that room isn't used it's a really nice quiet place to like <laughs> have your lunch and I get to sit by a window and it's really nice Ooh. and I just have a nice time. So that was nice. Um, other than that, we have been working on our house, working on our basement. We don't, the camera will never be turned that direction so you can't see the chaos that is that other room. <laughs> um, and um, I had some family get togethers um, and we went to Grantsville Park which I've never been to and it was really nice. Or um, my, I guess she's my second cousin. I always called her my aunt for her retirement party. Oh. Um, where they had the best cake. The best cake. Do you know who it was by? No idea. I think it was by somebody in the family. You're but they did to find this out. It was like a yellow cake, but it was, um, I think it was almond cake of some kind. Ooh. It was very good. And then it was covered in the lightest, fluffiest coconut icing. And then it had shaved toasted coconut all over it. So good. Mm. Delicious. That made my day. I mean, you lost <laughs> it at coconut, but oh, it sounds delicious. Oh, it was delicious. It was delicious. <laughs> it was like eating an almond joy. 
Ooh. It was very good. Um, oh, and it had chocolate drizzle on the top. Oh, yeah. That's good stuff. That makes it better. Um, but that's pretty much it. Just trying to stay alive. <laughs> and uh, I'm still adjusting the, to this new schedule, but I'm getting there. It's been a month. I'm, I'm, I think I'm there. I think I'm good. Um, coming up, and I guess we'll, we'll talk about doing it next time, but if anybody is <laughs> in the West Virginia area, I will be at the Cryptid Bash this coming weekend, where what? Morgantown, West Virginia, is hosting the Cryptid Bash. It is at, um, if you look it up, you'll find it, but it's at, it's an art show and cryptid get together, and I think they're showing some movies, and it's oh, just going to cool. be a lot of fun. We plan to go and hang that out for cool. most of the day on Saturday, this Saturday, August 7th. So if you're in the area. Just Saturday? It's just Saturday. Oh. It's just Saturday, and it's, um. I'm fair, fairgrounds You bound. are fairgrounds stuck. Um, mm -hmm. But I will be, because I know we will at least be watching one movie, and I'm like, well, I have to stitch my cryptid stitch along while we sit and watch a movie, right? Of course. It makes perfect sense. Is there going to be lights on? I have no idea. You'll make I, it happen. I'll make it happen. Freaking put a little headlamp on me. I won't be the weirdest person there. Easy. <laughs> uh, so if anybody wants to come hang out, come say out. The, uh, <laughs> but uh, that's our plans. And yeah, doing good. Yeah, doing good. All right. What you got to show? Well, we got, this is a cross stitch podcast, after all. It is. It's, it's not just about our life. That's supposed to be what it is. What What did you finish? Did oh, you I have I have an FFO. Woohoo! An FFO. Oh, it's framed. It is framed up. So I got this finished up. This is my favorite season by Allerton Embroidery. Um, I had to finish. I had to buy a ten inch hoop because my eight inch hoop was just a little too small, so I had to buy a ten inch hoop. Hmm. Um. I, oh, I felted the back and just uh, finished it up with a little whip stitch to just clean it up a little bit uh, and not let my, my poor friends that I made them for their wedding, but I just didn't have the time. I left the back all open and you could see all the crisscrossing threads and everything. They didn't care, but this one I tried to be a little, trying to upgrade my, my skills. Uh, I was originally going to try and make this like a little bit more than just a hoop frame going to do like a little something or other like up here near the top but I put stuff on there like started to try and arrange and it just looked way too busy with how bright and mm -hmm. how much is going on here so I just I do a simple hoop frame so that'll actually probably get shipped out tomorrow Woohoo! <laughs> so that's super happy this is heading to Texas for a good friend of mine and Aww. I hope she loves it so woohoo! that's cute but that is my uh that was my current gift stitch on my roster so I think it's time to get out another gift stitch and oh, put something on the... Are you going to bring out Hobbiton? Probably try to get that done. And then once that's done, pick a different... I've got a couple other ones that I want to do as yeah. gifts for aunts and cousins and different people. So Ooh, You're so generous. Cross like stitching gifts. takes like so much time to gift it. Yeah, this one especially took, it took quite a while. And Hobbiton's taking a while. So I want to I wanna try and get Hobbiton done by the end of the year. That's a good goal. It's a big one, though. It's a big one, but I'm, I'm, I made significant progress. Yeah. So it's I've got probably half of it left. So it should be. You do have two busy stitch alongs. I do have two. It, time sucks. Yeah. But in a happy way. So I mean, happy time sucks. Happy time sucks. That's that's a good way to think about it. <laughs> what do you got? I have whips. So I have been um, whip, whip, whip. as crazy as it's been with housing and stuff. I have gotten. A smidge, and I mean a smidge, mm -hmm. of stitching done on this one. This is Barbara Anna the Branch, and I literally just did this little headstone and the branch that's out to here. <laughs> so it is the tiniest update. That's such a cute one, though. It is so cute, and I wanted to do more. I was having um, I was having a hard time with uh, I actually I had to stitch that branch and rip it out like three times because when we put this digital i was having oh. a hard time kind of picking up where it left off oh gotcha um yeah because we had to, you had to go in and like put in what you had already had put done in, yeah i had to update the software with everything the pattern keeper with everything but i was really struggling to just kind of get the like i don't know i i feel like i am you know like reading yeah. i feel like i'm stitching backwards by working from this point to the left oh yeah 
And I'm like, I maybe I should start this way and just finish this out. Finish this. And then work. And then fight that side. <laughs> yeah. Or just fight this side for as long as your brain can take it and then be like, okay, easy stuff on the easy other side. side. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It just flows better going that way. So that's. I mean, that makes perfect sense. That to is me. one of my whips, but you guys, I have three whips. <gasps> You should be so proud of me. I am proud of you. I'm always proud of you. And an acquisition. Da, da, da. Uh, let me see here. For me. Weep, weep, weep. Weep, weep, weep. So I have one whip and two new starts. Oh, I have one new start. So I, I have, have two whips and one new start. Yeah. So this is Guardian of the Wood by the Witchy Stitcher, who is quickly, like, I mean, she's always been amazing. So I have made... Whoa! A chunk of progress. That guy looks good. Look at that guy. Look at him. That looks really good, Lauren. It's really coming along. That is a very detailed stitch. And it does, I, I will tell you, the picture of that online does not do it justice. It, I mean, I don't know. Because it is such a cool thing, the picture makes you want to do it. I mean, it gets the goal part across. But in person, it really does. Yeah. It really does stand it out. It really pops. And so I definitely got much more of the outline of his body and his other hand done mm -hmm. there. And I got all this down at the bottom. I got his little, little bird. flowers. His little bird friend. His little mushrooms. All oh, those are mushrooms. Mush mushrooms. Mushrooms. Ooh. And uh, it's coming along. There is a very dense black border, which is going to be super fun. Mm -hmm. But uh, right You're now I am really, border forever. I'm really enjoying this. Yeah, I am. Uh, and... Sarah and I got into an argument because when I was stitching this, I was like, oh, look, I got his chicken done. And, I mean, it looks like, I thought it was like the top of a weather vane or something. It's like on a little standy thing. Or it's one-legged. Or, I mean, I guess no, it's it, on yeah, a stand. It's on a little stand. And Sarah's like, that's not a chicken. That's a woodland bird. And I was like, it's on the ground. It's a sparrow. It's a chicken. I don't know that it's a chicken has one. A little chicken friend? I don't know that it's a chicken. I'm with Sarah. I think you're wrong. But if you want to call it a chicken, I'll support you. Glad somebody supports me. <laughs> so, I'm super happy with this. Can't wait to have it done. All that good stuff. Uh, I will be both sad and happy when this is done. Because I will be like, that's a super fun stitch. I'll be sad that it's not happening anymore. But man, the finished product is going to be great. So what are you stitching this on? Oh, I am stitching this on 14 Count Ancient by Picture This Plus. Is it Ada? It is Ada. This is Soft Ada. That is Soft Ada. I that Picture this. this Plus, you gotta pay for it, but man, it's nice. But the, I thought the 18 Count, well, the 18 Count when we were looking at it was uh, not bad. It was only $20. Yes, it wasn't too bad. No, they're really not. They're really not. And this, I mean, I could not have asked for a better... That like when they picked this color. piece of when they picked this piece of ancient, they picked exactly right for this dude because he yeah. has it's like kind of misty around him and up in the sky. Yeah, perfect. It works out really well. It worked out really well. Sarah picked this out for me. I actually uh, looked at that picture when we were picking out fabric for the uh, cryptid, mm -hmm. and I was like, "Oh, I like this." And I'm like, "Wait, I think Lauren is stitching on this." I don't. And I'm like, "That's not." You can have whatever your little heart desires. I know, but I wanted something. I wanted to try something new, you know? Yeah, definitely. Newness. Newness. Put it All on right. the ground. For my update, guys. Shut Are you us. ready for this? All right. <gasps> Life is a Game by cool Choco Coco Stitch on Etsy. And I am on the Little Dudes of the E. So this actually was one evening of stitching. It wasn't too bad. I enjoyed stitching the little guys. Um, I struggled with the red one just because he was the first one. And I'm like, kind of, what, which way should, do I go up and down or side to side? Or, you know, yeah. I ended up going side to side um, on most of them until I was watching a TV show. And then I was just like, apparently I started stitching. Like, I'm like, oh, let me do this one over here. Let me go over here. I don't know what happened. But each little dude is one whole strand. Oh, it worked out perfectly to yeah. just be a... One oh, little strand. That's nice. Yeah. That's like karma. That's good stuff. Stitching perfection. So. Yeah. So it is coming along. I am happy with the progress. I mm -hmm. think um, I have fair stuff all the way through Sunday. So I will get Ooh. zero 
stitching done from this point till Sunday. Yeah. But I might get some done next week, so we'll see. Yeah. But this is my, this guy and uh, the next one I will show are kind of my priority because yeah. these are wedding stitches. Yes, yes, yes. So. Another thing that's going on in your life, you chaotic woman. Yeah, but the wedding's a year away, so I'm not too worried about it. I did find, while I was talking, meeting people at the fair and stuff, um, one of the girls who volunteers, her 21-year-old daughter is going to do my hair. And she showed me a picture of some what? wedding hair she's done recently. Cool. And I'm like, let's done, do this. Done. Nice. She's like, I'll do it for free. And I'm like, I will take it for free. Yeah, really. I might give her like a little tip yeah, or something. Tip. Yeah, but like, yeah. damn. So really, because like, that stuff can be expensive. Yeah. So I'm like, yay. I have a hairstylist. I don't know what style I want, but I have a hairstylist. Hey, that's another thing. I have check. a dress. I have a place. And I have someone to do my hair. And flowers. I have flowers. I have a ring. I mean, that's all the ingredients right there. I have people to cook the food. The big food, the meat. So I just need to figure out sides. Which we might just get. I was reading some stuff about um, this side note, wedding talk. I was reading some stuff about people get big trays of just mac and cheese and uh, a couple things from Sam's Club. Oh, yeah. And I'm like, what the heck? Totally. We'll do that. We, we could probably feed a lot of people with that. Oh, yeah. And be oh, yeah. fairly cheap. Absolutely. Because, like, catering is 20 bucks per person. No, 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 no. I, I have never been to a catering. No, it's not true. I have been to a catered wedding because my uncle or my cousin got married in some bougie place down in Baltimore. But, like, that was it. That's the only yeah. one I've ever been to. And then I think uh, I am going to do the Baker Babes cupcakes. Oh. I am I'm pretty but you excited about those cupcakes. Ate all of them did not share. I might need to get a box because they have cake sickles right now, and I need a cake sickle. I don't know what a cake sickle is, but it looks delicious. Cake sickle is for Lauren. <laughs> so anyway, what Can you, you got? A sugar addict. All right, all right. Let me see here. Which one do I got? This one. Hang on. I got peek. This one. All righty. So this is. Do 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 do. This is The Haunted Mansion by Tiny Modernist. Is this your new start? This is one of my new starts. So I'll pull this up because I happen to have the little thing. Look how cute that this is. That is cute. Uh, so this is part of a stitch along that I am doing with the 21 Halloween Projects in 2021 Facebook group. That is too long a name. Um, and this is the one I'm really going to try and keep up with. Ooh, it is going to be a struggle, though, because... Why is it one a week? It's one a week, so it can be done by Halloween. Oh. Because there's 11 parts. Oh. Um, yeah. So, uh, I'm doing good so far, but it is... I am not, uh, you know, I don't get to full-time stitch, so keeping up with one a week is going to be tough. So, if I have to let it go, I will. Well, but you have other projects you could probably let... Yes, I have slide. some plot projects I'm letting slide. Um, but I got my first section done. Actually, I just finished it while I was talking to you before we recorded. What is this fabric? This is Picture This Plus Haunted, 28 count. And boo, boo, really boo, like boo, it's Frankenstein's Lab. And it's so cute. Uh, I like this fabric a lot, actually. Um, stitching on it, I was like... Huh, it's a little um, heavy. It's like heavy fabric. It's thick. But that means you can hide all your places where you stretch. Like none of that stuff shows through. I stretch my blacks behind this. No one will ever know. Mm -hmm. uh, so there is Frankenstein's Lab. That was my first section. Um, people could start. There's a needle in this. How long have you been there? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Yeah, uh, you can start wherever you wanted. Most people started in the top right, like you know, corner, top, top and left down. corner, and work down. But um, if you can see here, the top left corner is a bunch of like bats and stars that are kind of like out there. And I am one hundred percent a uh, mile. Uh, uh, I want to say a milestone. That's not the right word. When you're when you're driving and somebody's like, go past the red barn, that's a what is what do you 
words. I don't know what you mean. Uh, when you give someone directions. When you give someone directions, and instead of saying, like, turn left onto, you know, what this avenue, word? you instead give them. Oh my god, like, gonna, you guys are screaming it at us. Oh my gosh. What is you that? know what I mean. What is that word? No, I'm, I'm obsessed now. Um, um, anyway. So I need those. I need those to be able to count. I knew I couldn't just count not and find. Not road marks. Find. Is it uh, road marks? No, it's not road marks either. Landmarks. Landmarks. I'm a landmark we stitcher. We made it. We made it. <laughs> I'm a landmarks. I need something to count from. And I knew just Thank finding you. where random stars were in space was not going to be do doable for me. So Anybody watching this is like, landmarks, you idiots. <laughs> we, got <there. laughs> we got there. I'm like, I'm road marks? <laughs> I'm like milestones. I'm like checkpoints in my head. I'm just like it's not checkpoints. Stop thinking <laughs> road marks. What's what do you think of road marks, Lord? <laughs> so yeah, so I started in the center to get this, and I'm gonna actually probably go up first and then down and then do over. Um, but that may change. And anyway, I got it all done, back stitching and everything. I need to get a picture because I took a picture before back stitching and after. And it's so, it makes a difference. I'll actually put it here for and after back stitching. Um, I did make one little change in that I changed the spider web is supposed to be black. And I instead did it in glow in the dark thread. Yay! I also added uh, over here in one of these vials of chemicals, I made the bubbles glow in the dark too. So Ooh. little, little tidbits. Um, whenever there are ghosts on the outside, um, their ghosts are going to be glow in the dark. That too. That's I a good love, idea. I love a glow in the dark ghost. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so I'm super happy with this. So this is my week one done. Hoping to keep up with it. <laughs> we shall see. But look how big it's going to be. Oh, it's going to be massive. <gasps> That's, That's a big, a big stitch. Inch. That's a big stitch. It's a big one. But what you got? One more new start. This is um this is called sweet life by punachka and i bought it on um etsy and it is another wedding stitch da, 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 da. this is so cute all right so that's blowing out really bad yeah the white is but the um back here is that gonna help i don't know i think you can kind of see it so it says sweet life and then it has little bonbons and they just kind of go all the way around and it is beaded there are beads I love the beading. I think that just adds such a nice flare. It is super cute. And it's easy beading. Um, I found it fun to do. And I, I worked really hard to kind of get them, like, nice and snug. Yeah. So that, because they... So they stand exactly where you want them. Yeah. So I just um, kind of, like, worked. I did all my stitching first, which I think is what you're supposed to do. Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. I did all my stitching first so that there was a more structure to the fabric so mm -hmm. that it had a thickness. Um... I did do a thread conversion on the words Sweet Life that is supposed to be a stark white and it did not pop against this oh, fabric. Oh, no, no, no. In person, the Sweet Life in pink does pop. Oh, yeah. But I might go back and add... I'm going to wait until I'm completely finished with it. But if it doesn't look um, visible, I might go back and add like a slightly darker thread and maybe do some back stitching around the text. Oh, yeah, that would be really cute. Um, yeah. Just like a slightly darker, because like you can see that in yeah. person. And once it like like you said, once it's stretched, once you have all the bonbons are on the outside, your eye will just focus there automatically. And yeah. Because right now it's like just blending in with yeah. all this boring fabric. But I am stitching this on a fourteen count. Um, it is the napkin fabric that Lauren gave yeah. me from a Imagine treasure napkin. trove of her stash that I got from a store that was closing down mm -hmm. it was unlabeled <laughs> the uh so, I love those it is fun to stitch on I did all of that in one night and I really liked the uh stitch it was easy it was exciting to do the beading because you can do the beading on each like you finish a bonbon and you do the beading and, you and then do the beading, yeah, that's fun. I might I might not do this beading on all the bonbons just because I do not have a hoop big enough for this oh item. So I just wanted to do one to see how it goes. And then I should be able to get my hoop like here so I can still get this section. Yeah. Without interfering with beads. But I can, I can let you borrow a big hoop. I don't know if I I don't know if there's enough edge. Because mm -hmm. I 
And it is an awkward size. And you cut yourself you cut yourself as close as you can, don't you? Yes. I don't like fabric waste. Yes, I mean. True story. I don't like I don't like a big border of unstitched fabric. Yeah, makes sense. I don't like inches. <laughs> so I kind of keep it close. Um I mean this this is the edge for this bonbon. Like, there's nothing out from this. Right. So there's some... Um, and that's plenty there's to frame room. with. And you're framing so, in a hoop, so... Yeah. So they'll just go around Wait, this. Wait, you're going to have to start finding hoops, and I have to start finishing them for you. Yeah, I do. I have, uh, I think I have four finished so far. So I just uh, need to keep on going, because I need 18. 18? If we have the same... If we have the guest count that I think we have, but... Yeah. I won't hurt so, a couple more. I'm just, and I'm not like, I don't know. I haven't paced it out to see how many I need yeah. to do. Maybe I'll let you do that math. <laughs> <laughs> so that's everything I've got to work on. Uh, oh, I left this out. I left this out. Hello. Do you have any more stitchings? I have one more new start. Ooh. So this was one. Uh, we're, we're actually going to be doing this one together. So if you want to talk about your stuff too yeah well you go first. so we're gonna be doing the cryptid stitch along by the witchy stitcher which i guess i'll show you this like it's the frame that's all it's released right now because it's a secret it's, a mystery. it's a mystery stitch along which um, is my first i have never done a mystery stitch along yes have you done one before mm, when was the ouija the ouija was the ouija was and when the haunted mansion first came out it was but i you started and I then... started and didn't, didn't keep up with it. Uh, I think the banner was, too. But you... Yeah. But I think it was mostly out by the time I Yeah, started. I think it was out by the time you started. The... Uh, but no, this will be... So the Ouija was a complete mystery. Yeah. Yeah, because I got an empty frame. Um, so we sat down and bought fabric and sat Shopping down... Shopping was a nightmare. We were like, oh, fabric. How hard is that? Um, completely forgetting what our global economy and shipping looks like. Like, completely forgetting. That everything is six to eight weeks out. Yeah. I don't know what our brains were doing. And we wanted it by August 1st. And we we're like, okay, we got to find something that can be like yeah. produced. So I just went to Etsy, searched for fabrics, and then did the will arrive by filter. And just saw what came up. And it turns out, pretty good selection of stuff out yeah. there. So I got, and I can show you a little bit of mine, and I can show you my start. I got... Uh, this is, oh, hang on, that is darker my... than I thought. It's a little darker than I was expecting. This is uh, Wil Wichelt Imports Twilight Mist in 28 count. That's what its little tag looks like. I really like this. Are you guys ready? Is this and this is what you? I've done so far. <gasps> so I am really happy with this. It is, uh, it is a linen, so it does have the thicks and thins, but it's a very nice linen. Mm -hmm. um, I am super happy with the color. It's a little darker than I was expecting, but I don't think it's too dark for oh, the stitch Oh, I think at it all. was just really dark because it was folded. Oh, maybe. Now that it it's unfolded, up. it's not as dark. Yeah, the blue looked really dark when it was folded. Uh, so... To me. Uh, I think the black pops on it really nicely, nice. so God, I don't it's think... it's gonna be big. Yeah, it's gonna be big. It's gonna be big. Uh, it's gonna be big. Because I am doing it two over two. Uh, I wanted to do it two over two. I didn't want to do it one over one. Um, but my sister's already claimed it. Like, I showed her, like, one bat. And she was like, okay, that's mine, right? That goes in my room forever for me. I was like, okay. No, it goes in the family room for everybody. Uh, and I had a horrible time starting it. So I'm actually kind of glad that we didn't start it together. Because it took me three tries to find my start corner. Not because of any good reason, just my brain was like, measurements, math, thinking, reading, no. Mark stuff, look at it, know that it's wrong, unmark it, mark new stuff, wrong, mark new stuff. Like, Is it because your fabric's going to be close to the edge? It's because, so the first time it was because I looked at the stitched area. Oh, and not the... And it was, and... And use that for my calculation. But I was using the stitched area for 30 count fabric. And then the second time, I was like, okay, I have the correct stitched area. And then I had my measure fabric of my, the measurements of my fabric wrong. 
So once I got those two things correct, then I could measure where it actually went. You are a goober. Took me a couple tries. So it wasn't anything. It wasn't like I knew what the calculation needed to be. It was just dumb. I mean, I understand that. That's why I like to just fold things in half and start in the middle. Yes. Or like me in too. life is a game. I just brought it to you and I'm like, I don't even know how to start this. Find this, yeah. Find my stuff. I should have gridded it. Actually, um, pro tip, tip for anybody. Uh, there are pilot makes pens called friction pens. F-R-I-X-I-O-N. Friction pens. They are erasable pens. They have changed my life. Uh, I found one in a drawer at work when I like first started. I was just mm. like, I need office supplies. Went into the office supply drawer, just picked out some pens. Picked up this pen. It is fantastic. And it's and a it fabric is, pen? It, well, it is a just completely erasable pen, so you write, and it erases. But it erases by, you use this rubber thing, it's not really an eraser, and it just warms up the paper enough to make the ink disappear. Mm. Well, guess what else warms things up? An iron. Oh. So as soon as you, if I wanted to, get, and I mean, like, I, you can't see, so if you look here, you can see my little X start there. That's my little corner. To oh. On. I've made three of those. Do you see any other ones? Nope, because I just erased it with the pen and it totally erased off the fabric, wow. too. So. I don't know things. Mm, for gridding fabric, for any kind of sewing projects you're doing, these those, pens. The sewists out there are probably like, duh, you guys. Yeah, they might be. They might be. They might be, duh. But I was like, and actually today, my favorite pen, because uh, I like the slightly sharper tip mm -hmm. instead of the like bigger, inkier ones. Yeah. My favorite pen ran out of ink. Not surprising. I was writing with it all the time. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was like, this is the only one in the cabinet. Will somebody order me more pens? And then uh, the girl that does the ordering is like, um... I think those are kind of expensive. I don't even know where you got that from. I'm like, no, no, they sell them at Walmart. Will you get me more pens, please? And she's like, oh, I guess. I'll look it up. And she looked it up and she's like, yeah, they're $3. Yeah, I'll get you more pens. I'm like, thank you, because I really, I'm addicted to these pens. <laughs> People so and their pens. I know. I was like, these are my favorite pens. You don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, that's my start. So I am also doing the cryptid stitch along and all I have is fabric. It's empty guys because I went house shopping and did not make it to our little stitch date. But, but I have really cute fabric and you this can't fabric is so pretty. see it. I don't, know. Up in there. I don't know if that's showing it, but it's all up in your face. It is sage green and it is actually printed. It is not hand dyed. And it is opalescent, so those little glittery bits. And I am excited it's for this pretty. to be the background of my cryptid stitch. And I got mine from Etsy. Oh, I got my phone here. I got mine from Alice in Stitches Arts on Etsy, but um, I believe um, a lot of places Will, sell this. Will Kelp. Imports is a pretty common brand. You can yeah. find it pretty easily. We saw it at Four Seasons, but yeah. not not in this linen. In this but they color. had um, they had the uh, they had some Ada, Ada in it. Yeah. And I remember when we were down at um, the Stitching Post, they, had, they had several a, a colors of this. Yeah, very pretty. Uh, and you got yours because it's on my phone because I ordered it with you uh, from DoveStitch.com on Etsy, and they had. They were great because you could pick the exact size you want. Did you want it glittery? Did you want it golden? Did you want it? You could pick the size, the color, and the the, the extra that you wanted yeah. and get exactly what you wanted. And it is really pretty. I'm excited. That is going to really pop because there's so many greens and browns in this that it's going to like. Yeah. Be really pretty. Da, da, da. So the frame is... Uh, we have until we September? Have, September 3rd is when the first cryptid releases. But I saw the other day that she said as long as you have, like, this first half of the top and, like, I think three or four down, three or four of the repeating motifs down, you're good because the first cryptid is right there. It's right there. Heidi. Heidi. What do you think the first cryptid is going to be? I don't know, because I... So... This is my debate. So I have I have three theories on this 
mystery south. Uh, and if you have any theories, tell us your theories down below if you're doing it. Um, I have zero theories. I have not thought about that much, but what's going on? So my theories are, one, theory number one, it is like a, um, uh, I want to say Pokemon. Pokemon is a really good example of this, of like, here is Mothman, here is Bigfoot. And it's like three, and then three, and then three, and then three, right? Like they're up on like little motifs. Mm -hmm. Or it's like um, the pretty famous Pokemon posters where they're all just piled on top of each other. And Ooh. it's just like, you know, Mothman sitting on top of Sasquatch who's, who's you know, standing on top of a Yeti. On, and, you know, they're all just like somebody's peeking around the corner and stuff like that. So it's all smushed in there. Mm. Or it is a full-on scene. There is forest. There is Mothman in sky. There is, it is a full-on scene. I don't know. I don't know. It could be none of those. It could be something. I don't know. It could be the end of times. I don't know. It could be the end of times. You dork. We don't know. <laughs> but I don't know. So those are my theories. I mean, if I had to pick, I would hope it's a full on scene. That would be so right? cool. Right? Yeah. If it's something a little more like, or at least a little more like, and I mean, it's the witchy stitcher. She's the queen of doing amazing things. So, um, I mean, it'll be cool, I'm sure, no matter how she does it, and I'm sure she'll tie it all together beautifully. Um, but something where it's a little more organic and makes, you know, like, it's it makes sense where everybody is would be really nice. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. I'm excited to do this. Me too. I was really excited to buy the fire. I was sad I couldn't be here, but I was hoping I was finding the house. Soon. Soon. It was not the house. It was a cute house. Oh, it's so cute. It had like charm, Warren. Charming. It had um all real wood, hardwood floors. It was brick. The only issue was the yard's really small for a person with two dogs. Yeah. That's and who wants to garden. I want to garden and have two dogs running around. So it was That's gonna a be a difficulty in, in in tiny college town. Yeah. Well, that's why I'm looking at, I'm actually looking at West Virginia now, so. Yeah. West Virginia house offers a little more land with your house, so I am they hoping do. to find something. They do do that. So anyway, I think so, that's everything I've got to yeah, that's talk about, for me. share. I don't have any more. Be working on, I'm hoping to do some cryptid stitching soon. Yeah. Because I would like to get my frame started. Um. I made her surge line. She wasn't happy with me that I made her. I need to get my sewing machine out. No, you just make Sarah do it. I ask Sarah to do it. And I and I tell her that Does that's she what's like gonna me happen. More than you. <laughs> Significantly. <laughs> <laughs> You're not always telling her what to do. <laughs> this is true. No, I'll I'll ask her. If she doesn't have time, I totally understand because I don't have time. But anyway, I have lots of stitching to do. I have three, four projects now. Yeah. That's a lot for me for stitching. Nice job. Woohoo. So anyway, guys, I think we've wrapped that up. I think we did. I think we went through everything. If you uh, tell us below what you're working on, if you got any uh, stitching that you're working on. What Halloween kind of stitches coming uh, up that we don't even know about, share those. Yeah. If you're working on any sows or if you have any experiences with mystery sows that you'd like to share with us, we'd love to hear them. Yeah. And yeah, we'll be back in two weeks. And we'll move.